You know what? A 3.45 a.m. alarm clock is already a hard thing to do. But when you log into your computer and suddenly it's not working, day's not off to a good start. Question. What do you do when you're in rural Sri Lanka and your MacBook Pro keyboard just dies? Just dies. Well, all you can do is try to put it behind you, which isn't all that hard to do when your office looks like this. Right now we're set up near one of the reservoir tanks uh, in the park and hoping that maybe the elephants decide, yeah, maybe I'll get some morning coffee. That would be tasty, wouldn't it? But sadly, while we could see signs of wildlife, we didn't see any wildlife. But we did make some good connections with some of the local folks over breakfast. And after breakfast, we had to say goodbye to Argum Bay. We hit the road and exchanged drivers and vans, but we still got a long drive to go. So we might as well make the best of it, right? Which again is somewhat easy when your office looks like this. Awesome. Today's the day we sort of transition from the lowlands up to quite a different place. We are now heading into the hills. But before doing so, Lauren decided, well, what's more natural than doing some yoga poses on a rock in front of a waterfall in Sri Lanka. Now that my laptop is dead, I'm having to learn a new skill, shooting and editing an entire video blog, not on my laptop, but on my iPhone. <laughs> Which is really not easy, because the driving rules in Sri Lanka are much different than in the West. So once we got to our hotel, it was a welcome sight. Which is where I am now, and I'm going to bid you good night because now i got to figure out how to post to YouTube and Facebook from this thing. It's going to take a little while. Good night. And don't forget to follow these things on Facebook.com slash Saving Ganesh and SavingGanesh.org. Good night, y'all.